Lance, how's Michael doing? Steve, not too bad for the first day, but again, it was pretty much like we saw last week inside at IIT. We are live from Ed Smith Stadium where the workout took place today, and tonight all is quiet on the Michael Jordan front. His first official outdoor workout in the books, as you mentioned, and nearly 300 members of the media showed up this morning to watch it. The dawn of a new day in Sarasota brought sunshine and clear skies. And with it came a media mob from across the country and around the world. The attraction wasn't hard to figure out. I am from Maine, and my grandson fell and broke his leg this week, and he asked me before I come home if I would try to get some autographs. Tell me why you're here. Michael. <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> trying to get a glimpse of him. How many days you been down here? Well, we drove all the way from Miami, about a four-hour drive this morning. He's a phenomenon, you know? There's nobody like him. Nobody else you'd drive four hours to see. Well, <laughs> maybe for a girl, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then came the moment, Michael's arrival. With a step on the accelerator, he was in. And from there, it was onto the cage, where it was time to work. His two-hour workout was similar to a week ago. He won't face Major League pitching until February 22nd, but consistently made contact on Tuesday. Then it was on to the outfield to field and throw, and that was much to the delight of these fans. And the outfield sign seemed only fitting for a backdrop, Michael on his field of dreams. I've had a great time here. I mean, uh, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of hard work. You know, uh, yeah, it brings back a lot of good memories, and uh, just a matter of working hard and trying to get some of the skills back, and uh, it's a lot of fun, though. One thing that won't happen is Michael becoming a sideshow. You know, because there was so much negativism about what, what I was trying to do uh, that I, I did have to ask him and, and, and say, ask him if this is the right thing to do. And he asked me, well, do you enjoy doing it? Is it something that you want to do? And I said, yeah, it's a dream that I've always had. Then you're doing the right thing. That's what he told me. So, you know, I've given him as well as coach an opportunity to let me know. Uh, I mean, the last thing I want to do is be a sideshow. But what about riding buses in the minors? <laughs> well, I mean, I cross that bridge, too, that I, when I get there. Um, you know, if it's a part of riding the bus, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not too adjusted to royalty that I can't ride a bus. You know, I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with it, as long as it's a luxury bus. <laughs> <laughs> and, Steve, I want to see that luxury bus. Pitchers and catchers report tomorrow, but you can bet Michael will remain the focus of attention here in Sarasota. Reporting live, Lance McAllister, CLTV News.